Hey guys, and welcome to Jurassic Room. And yes, I finally have my first alien. We have it surrounded by other NECA figures. We have the Gorilla Alien. So we'll take a good look at the artwork here. We've got the front with the artwork of the Gorilla Alien hunched over. Gorilla Alien with face hugger. We have a nice look at him in the box with the little face hugger up there. Aliens. And then we'll take a look at the bottom really quick. To all the developers of the figure to the side. And we see that there is the Dark Horse comic inside. We'll review that as well. Same on this side. We actually see the comic right there. It's got a really cool hood. Oh, figure out in here. And little little guys over there playing. Figure up. Go on, go on. Get, get. Alright. Now we have the back here. We have Everyone there. We have all this here: the Blade Fighter vehicle, the Queen Alien, and the Power Loader P5000 Deluxe vehicle. Then we have all these different Predators. Most of them I have seen, but I have not uh, seen the Renegade or the Ambush. I haven't even heard of Ambush, but I do have Clan Leader. I've seen Spike Tail Ghost and Stalker, and uh, Clan Leader is right there. And we have right here the aliens from this season series. The Gorilla, which is right here. The Mantis, which I did see there at the Toys R Us, but I did not get him. And uh, the Warrior Alien. Then we have this right here. Dark, empty, silent. This is deep space. The vicious aliens are attacking. One force has the guns and the guts to face these ugly monsters. Send in the heavy metal. Send in the space marines. The invasion is on. And we have up here the rest of this with Lieutenant Ripley and Queen Facehugger. Which we also saw there, which is very creepy. We have a nice picture of the gorilla alien here. With this. Little stats for it. Gorilla alien, trademark. Origin, jungle planet Zavan. I think is what it's called. Colony of 51 workers, one queen, and 36 eggs. Beware, high blood acid concentration, 75.32%. Destruct point, rapid fire weapons, crack exoskeleton. That seems to be about it for the back. We have the front of the Gorilla Alien, and we are going to open her up right now. And here we have him out of the box right here, with, along with the Dark Horse comic, which we will read in just a moment. I might make this a separate video as well. I will add this in later, because I'm probably not going to edit it till tonight. But I will read the comic, and we will... Uh, I'll make a separate video. So y'all can either watch just the comic reading or both of them and combined with the review of this figure. So let's go ahead and get the Gorilla Alien out of the packaging. So it's really hard to get this guy in the pose as he's kind of weak on the stance. So just got to hold him up. Well, he's a really cool figure. We'll look more in-depth at him in just a second. Oh, and it just fell. All right. We'll do a really quick review of this guy. And again. All right. We'll look at the legs first from the hips down. The pelvic area here. So I'm trying to get this stuff. There we the, go. It skins on the, the inside, bones are on the outside. It's an exoskeleton, like a bug. All right, be quiet for a second. All right, we've got this tube going down the leg here. we got the biomechanical aspect of it. And feet here, which are very humanoid-like. I really like the design of the feet. This is a very big figure too. We'll take a look at the tail. Got that gripping hand there. We'll turn him around just a second. We've got these forearms and the hands. Traveling up, we got these tube-like structure structures here along the arm and the shoulder, and of course the skull. Got the rib cage here. Got the other forearm. There we go, perfect. And we will turn this guy around. Look at the skull first. This is him without the uh, glow, like the uh, invisible scalp. He has an invisible scalp. This right here. We'll take a real quick look at his extra pieces. We got this skull here, this cap that goes on here. I'll turn that on in a second. Then we got the little. Blue Gorilla Alien Facehugger. 
the bendy wire tail. All right, now we'll take a look at his back end. Take a really quick look at the tail. Get the back end of the hands here with the claws. I think I've got the back of the arms. Only two tubes on the back, which is really different. I think that was with the original figure. The original Kenner version. This figure is based on the Kenner toys from back in the 90s, I believe. Got really cool feet articulation. I'll show that really quick. There we go. You can see the bends right here. It's kind of fuzzy. Has that bendable foot. I got the rest of the tail here. Very long and slender tail. I got the back of this gripping three, like Triton like tail and we'll take a look at this skull this head of the xenomorph very queen-esque with the sort of uh, crown at the top we'll add the this part in just a second we'll open the mouth it's got a quite wide wide uh, mouth for most xenomorphs and we'll pull out the extendable jaw and of course, there's the extendable jaw there. Uh, two jaws. Wow. Here I am trying to force this thing on, and that's why I forgot that you can actually look at the skull of the xenomorph. I can't believe I forgot that. Oh, look, it's the eyeballs. Yep. Kind of eyeballs. If you're wondering what's making that racket, it's, it's this little dude. Of course, scaring him. Watch him run off. <laughs> Take a quick look. We got some kind of tubes running into the eyes here. This thing will cooperate. There we go. We got a really cool crest on the cranium here. Frankly, I'll keep like this all the time. This just, that's just awesome. And then we'll add the uh, invisible cap. I'm really impressed by this piece. You can actually see the skull on the inside. It's very clear. It's somewhat like the concept art of the original Alien movie with more of a invisible type skin or exoskeleton. You can see the skull right through that. And uh, even the eye sockets, if it'll... There we go. We're going to compare it to the other NECA figures I have right now. Here we have him hunched over right next to the Serpent Hunter. Now I'm going to try and have, I'm going to have him standing next to the clan leader in just a second. Be really cool fight knowing that, Z that Serpent Hunter, the best Xenomorph hunter, hunting this kind of Xenomorph. Here we have him standing up next to the Deluxe City Hunter. That would be a really interesting fight, giving his combi stick. And before we compare him to Clan Leader, we will compare him to my only other NECA figure, and that is the 2014 Godzilla. Now that would be a cool fight. A giant xenomorph Zilla versus Godzilla. And here, finally, we have him rivaling in size. Actually, he's just about as tall as the clan leader, so that's really cool. And of course, we have his mouth open there. He actually stands just about an inch or two, about an inch taller than clan leader. So that's a really big xenomorph. And action pose.
That is actually a pretty cool action pose. Cute sleeping kitten. And here we have my complete set of NECA figures laid out. I'm about to take a picture and update this into the intro. So that's pretty cool. We got all these NECA figures out now. Got Godzilla 2014, Clan Leader, Gorilla Alien, Deluxe Predator Hunter, uh, City Hunter, and Serpent Hunter. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Hope y'all enjoyed this review. And we will get on with the Dark Horse Comics strip right here. We'll read that. And then uh, I'll add that into the video later on. And... I'll separate it as well so y'all can watch it if you don't want to watch the whole review. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Hey, guys. Welcome to Jurassic Room. Now, I will be adding this into the review as well, but I'll also have it separate. So this is the Dark Horse comic that came with the Gorilla Alien right there. For, uh, the Gorilla Alien. Okay, so Gorilla Alien Jungle Attack Aliens, number four from Dark Horse Comics. And we will get on with this. Now, the Gorilla Alien is not truly half gorilla. It was, there's a planet with these apes, and I'll show you in just a minute, that have like four arms, and that's what they came from. Sometime in the future. Humankind has begun to explore space, colonizing planets throughout the galaxy, leading the way are the Space Marines, the toughest heavy metal warriors in the galaxy, armed to the teeth with state-of-the-art weaponry. They keep the peace in the universe filled with danger and aliens. Vicious, gruesome, and deadly, the aliens spit acid and use slithering facehuggers to capture their prey, led by their sinister queen. The aliens are spreading everywhere, mutating into more deadly forms as they go. Earth's last defense, the Space Marines, known throughout the galaxy as the best bug fighters around. Collect all the aliens and predator action figures from NECA, like these different kinds. Lieutenant Ripley, Gorilla Alien, Mantis Alien, Queen Face Hugger, Spike Tail Predator, Stalker Predator, Ghost Predator, Clan Leader Predator, Renegade Predator, Alien vs. Predator 2-Pack. And of course we have all this down here if y'all want to um, read all of that. So there you go. We'll get on with this comic. Mission log continued. Lieutenant Ripley reporting 800 hours. Planet Sivan. Our routine survey mission to Tanaka 5. Uncovered extensive xenomorph infestation. Let's hope this mission isn't re a repeat. Okay, Ripley, you know the drill. Let's keep it clean so we don't get mean. You can tell this is from the 90s. Alpha sector is clear. Let's break into teams and do a standard sweep. That's the view from Central Command Bishop. Oh, Bishop's in this. All clear. Correction. I show multiple targets converging on our position. Or on your position. Don't sweat it, Bishop. You guys ready for some alien guacamole? Stand down, Drake. Alright. Next page. This isn't too many pages. Alright, here we go. These are the four-armed apes we're talking about. They may be aliens, but they're not bugs. They're heading right for us. You mean right by us, Bishop. What are they running from? He's got bugs on his shirt. That's funny. Never mind, Bishop. I think it's become obvious. This won't be an easy one, people. There's the gorilla alien. Watch it, Bishop. It's passed us by and is heading right towards you. No cause for alarm. I have it squarely in my sights. Same goes for you, metalhead. Warning, clear the area. The acid is spit has been eat uh, sorry. Warning, clear the area. The acid is its spit has eaten through the warheads. Oh crap. Pravoom. Mission log update, twenty one hundred hours. After initial xenomorph confrontation and subsequent loss of the dropship, we camp for the night and await additional aid from Earth Colony 3. There have been no further sightings of the so-called gorilla aliens until now. They're actually swinging on trees. 
Look sharp, people. We have company. Let's hit him with the welcome mat. How are you doing over there, Lieutenant? All right, that's a cool shot there. Hope you like your bugs well done, Upon. I was the first Space Marine ever to face an alien, but their sheer ferocity still amazes me. Yeah! Don't look too te so tense, Rip. We've got ammo to burn and plenty of targets. Don't get cocky, Drake. You know these bugs can crash your disc in a nanosecond. Okay, area secured. Let's do a head count and access damage people. Or assess damage people, sorry. Hey, it's cool. We scragged them all. Wait, where's Ripley? Mission status, Sergeant Opony reporting 600 hours due to ground interface. Interference, Synthetic, Human Bishop is tracking Lieutenant Ripley from the evac ship while we move in on foot. I hope we can reach her in time. She's always saving our hides and it's time we return the favor. I've got her position, but she seems to be above you. Confirmed, we have a hive built into the treetops we're going in. Hang on, Rip. Monkey bugs or not, the heavy metal is on the scene and ready to rock. That's the end of the comic. Oh, to be condition continued in number five. So where's number five? I guess that would be the Mantis Alien comic. All right, guys. Thanks for looking at this uh, Jurassic reading. Or I'll probably put it into that category in the playlist. But I'll add this on to the Gorilla Alien review. Thanks for watching and check out that video. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Gonna tell Aunt Mary about Uncle John. He claimed he has a misery, but he's having a lot of fun, oh baby.